Father, in the midst of an incredibly difficult week for so many families and individuals, and for this community as a whole, you have been present. Thank you for the grace and for the words and the energy you gave to the staff at St. Andrews. Thank you for the way you worked through so many adults and so many team leaders to step up and make things happen. So that people could be together, could pray, and could just express their love and their support. Now, Lord, continue to use your church in this community. And whatever expressions, whatever labels, Help your church to continue to be incredibly sensitive, to be supportive, to be your love and stand. Give us great wisdom and great courage to live out what it means to be your people. <laughs> Lord, as many of our youth gather on Wednesday night at Unite, I pray that again you will use that in a powerful way that your spirit will be obviously present. Lord, we ask that because in spite of events like this, we trust you. And we trust your heart. And that's why we've gathered to worship tonight. That's why we're here. To acknowledge that you are God and we are not. And your ways are not our ways. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. But you still are worthy of all the praise and adoration. Holy Spirit, lift our hearts for heaven and joy and gratitude this night. For we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. 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 This new worship model and this new worship process that we're doing. We plan songs a month in advance, or at least as close to that as we possibly can. The songs that we planned for this week uh, had been planned for weeks. In light of what happened uh, last Sunday and what's been going on this, this whole week, uh, it's given me time to reflect upon just, just how awesome God is that in the midst of this, these songs that we had already planned in advance before any of these things happened really speak to the situation. And I think you'll see that as we sing them together. But I encourage you then to not just sing them tonight, to, to really reflect upon what it, is, what it is that you are proclaiming. Last week when the news came out about the, the teenagers that were involved in the traffic accident and the tragedy, somebody approached me and said, how do we stand up and sing? How do we do that in light of what just happened? When we sing praise to God, how does that work itself out? I don't know if I can stand up and do that. And my response was, how can we not? God is still God. God is still on the throne. God is still good. There's a lot of questions that we don't have answers to. There's a lot of things that we would like to know. God doesn't always reveal that, but he does reveal and give us himself. He says, I'll never leave you, never forsake you. My presence will be with you through these times. In light of that, that is reason to praise. That is reason to say, God, you give it and you take it away, but in both, I will bless your name. How can I keep from singing your praise? How can I ever say enough? Because how amazing is your love. Songs like Shout to the Lord. And we would sing his praise and proclaim his name because he's God. And he is good even when we don't know what's going on or why. Call it worship passage tonight. It comes from Psalm 138. It says, I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple and will praise your name 
for your love and your faithfulness. You have exalted you have exalted above all things your name and your word. When I called, you answered me. You made me bold and, and steadfast. May all the kings of the earth praise you, O Lord. When they hear the words of your mouth, may they sing the ways of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is on high, he looks upon the lowly. But the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hand. Just reflect upon that passage. Reflect upon these songs. But do it as we praise him. So let's stand together and do that this evening. Love endures forever. His love endures forever. His love. 
you never tell us, promise us that life is going to be easy. You never promise that tragedies won't happen. That churches won't close. People won't pass away. But you do promise your presence. You promise that you will be with us, that you will never leave us or forsake us. But you will be with us always to the very end of the age. Lord, I'm sure this week that there were many who shouted to the Lord in very different ways this week. Some shouting to you, thanking you for the comfort that you have provided in the midst of these troubling times. Some shouting to you with tears and sadness. Asking why. I'm sure there were those shouting to you in anger, frustration, bitterness. Lord, we are a fragile people, and we do experience incredibly tough times because we live in a world that has fallen into sin. The effects of the fall affect everything. Lord, thank you that you're a big enough God that can take all the different ways in which we shout to you. And no matter where we are in that spectrum, or when we are at those different times on that spectrum, that you come to us and embrace us. You come to us and you love us. You say, I am here and I will be here. I've given my word. Forever you are faithful, forever you are strong, forever you are with us. Forever. Those words, so powerful. And we sing and we declare them tonight because we believe them to be true. And we find the comfort in those words because in those words you give us your very presence as well. And so we can bless your name when you give, when you take away. Or maybe some are not there yet. Lord, you are with them as well. I pray that uh, Lord, you will continue to draw us closer to yourself, closer to your loving embrace, so that we, each and every day, will feel your presence and know a little bit more the kind of God that you are, that you are a God of love. We give this time, this worship to you, in Jesus' name.